go and see the world and just show them what it really means to live like golden. Yeah, we're golden. What's going on everybody, Sophisticated here, your resident title trickster, bringing you the latest and greatest Fizz content there is to offer. If you enjoy what we do on the channel, remember to show your support by subscribing, smashing that like button, and leave a comment to let me know what you think. Without further ado, let's get right into today's gameplay. What's going on guys, Sophisticated here bringing another Fizz gameplay video. Today we are in the mid lane and I think we're up against a pike. Now this guy took Ignite too, but I looked and these guys are duo, so I assume that these two guys are going to be bot lane. But they either or could be mid lane, which this would be probably the more uncommon mid lane pick. But And since this guy is running Hail of Blades with the Ignite, it makes me think he's mid. So that'll be a pretty fun matchup, the pike. Um, he's definitely going to be roaming a lot. The Hail of Blades, he's going to be super, super strong early. Like his levels 1 and 2, going to be very tough. So we'll try and mitigate, like, trying to fight him early. We'll see how he plays the wave. That's one of Pike's, like, uh, weak points is he doesn't have very much wave clear. So that's good for us. This is a weird start from Kane. Usually you'll see him start Raptors into red. All right, so it is the Pike mid. I'm just going to match his shove since he's just going to step up and start autoing. I'm also going to do the same. And then when he walks up, auto W him. Hit him with a nice little, uh, little bit of poke. I should have popped a Corrupting Pot there, too. Thinking about him. I'm going to come up and hit him with another one if he steps up on these minions. He hits us with a nice little bit of poke himself there. But we get a little bit of wave control off of that as well. And I can build this wave right here. So if he steps up, I just auto W him again. Couldn't get the W, but if he steps up, I'll just... Nice. I got to dodge that. Got a nice little Q here. I'm going to level my Q because I want to be able to Q auto W him. But right now, he's a little too close to his tower for me to do that. So we'll just wait. Just clear up these farm. I got a pretty big wave here, so he can't really do too much to us. But I can just pressure him in like this. And then I'm going to come throw my ward up here, just in case if uh, Bai does get a little skippy on us. All right, we made him miss a lot there. So that's really good for us. If he goes for it, he's probably going to look for a stun here through the wave. All right, now we have our E. So we can look for a little trade on him. Hit the E right here. W him. We can maybe ignite him here. Mm, if I would have ignited him, I think we potentially could have killed there. We'll see. When my W's up, I'm going to go for a kill onto him. That might kill him. Uh, he's going to heal up from his passive. But we may um actually just push him out of lane off of that. Really good use of his passive right there. If he steps up for this one, though, I'm going to look for him. Ooh, very close. Just make sure to get behind the wave right there so he can't hit us. We've got him super chunked out, though, here. I think what I may do is actually look for a little cheater recall here. Because she, yeah, I had a figure she, or uh, an idea that she was going to come here. So we'll just get a little cheater recall off here. Because I can't really pressure him in since I know that she's, like, in the area. So we'll get a little, uh, grab a Dark Seal. That's going to go well with our Corrupting Pot. And then we'll also grab Control Ward. All right. So I kind of figured he that might not have worked since his passive is, like, whenever he goes out of vision, he heals a bunch. But he's leaving the wave in a really, really bad spot for himself. Because this is going to build up really, really big. But it's going to hold outside my tower. And it's going to take out his whole, uh, my whole wave right here. So we're going to come out super far ahead of this. And our Ignite's back up in 110 seconds, which isn't bad. I do want to trim this wave up a little bit because I want to force him to overextend. But I also don't want um, this wave to crash. So right here, we have it in a really, really good spot. And then I'm going to come throw my Control Ward over here on this side. Because that's probably where Vi will be coming from next. And we have this wave in a perfect spot right now. Do you want to trim up this a little bit, though? Like I said, I don't want it to crash under my tower. I just want to hold it right outside. Yeah, this is really, really good spot for us. We should be really far ahead of him in terms of XP here. Way too big of a wave for me to trade with him here, so I'm not even going to attempt it. He's probably going to look for a, a yank on us here. A little pull. We should just be able to farm this up pretty easily under the tower here. A nice little trade on him right there. I can hit him with the E here. He's going to yeah, I was about to say, he's gonna have to stun out of that. I may be able to walk him down here with uh, my autos. Yeah, 
I got him here. Got his flash. It's really, really good. If I would have played that a little better, I could have killed him there. He can't step up here at all. Okay. He could do that, though. I'll just dodge that. Not a huge deal. I got his flash, so... She's probably definitely going to just sit in the area here. Get a nice little chunk trade on him again. Force her to come here. She's just wasting her time. Dodge out. We're doing this. We're playing this really well. Playing this pressure real, real well. We're soaking up a lot of pressure from her. She's probably just going to come again. I have my Ignite up. I just don't think I have enough mana for a Q Auto W here. Ooh, that was messed up. That was bad. That was real bad. Man, that was... Ah, if I hit that, I think I had kill pressure on him. Alright, but we're killing him in CS. We're really, really far ahead of him. I'm just going to shove this wave out and get a reset. Honestly. Alright, so let's get a let's get a reset off here. He cannot uh, push this wave fast enough. Alright, so I am going to ping that he's level 6. Because he could look for a roam on someone. Alright, let's get a back in here. Grab two amp tomes. That's going to be really big for us. And then we'll grab another control ward too. Just because we have enough gold for it. Oh, that is not good. This guy getting two kills early. Um, these guys got to be careful. He has no flash, so this is like very, very killable. Honestly, I think I may be able to kill him. Because see how we manage the wave? We force him to stay into the lane, so we probably can kill him. He'll greet off of this cannon minion. And if not, we'll do the same thing. We'll just uh, make him miss a bunch of XP. Yeah, he's kind of tripping. This is really bad wave management from him because he just backed on a cannon minion. So he's going to not only lose all that XP, but that's like a lot of gold he's losing too. I actually may look for a hard shove here so I can potentially look, make a play bot lane. That's probably the better play than just sitting mid lane and trying to deny him. Actually, Kane's down there, so maybe I don't need to go down there. I can just keep denying this guy, I think. Oop. This guy could roam and maybe look down there. All right, nice. They, they should have that. All right, let's put another point in our W, and then from this point on out, we're going to max our E. And we still have this guy in a really bad spot in terms of, like, the wave. Nice. We got a really good trade on him there. I'm look for a fish onto him. I'm going to flash ignite him so I can kill him. Nice. Really, really good right there. He, if he uses his E, so his little dash, he has no way to get away from us. And uh, our fish gives us true vision, so unlike everyone else, he can't use his stealth to just run away from us. And then I just flash on top of him so I can ignite him and just secure the kill there. Because we're already super far ahead of him. 40 to 61, and now we have a kill on him too. Alright, just clear out this wave right here, get a reset in for ourselves. We should be super strong. All right, let's come over here. Let's throw a ward down right here. Take this out. Let's de-ward his ward. Actually, we have a lot of sustain. We might not need, even need to uh, reset here. Let's throw a ward right there. I'm going to pop that. And then I think I'm going to throw my control ward right here. There's the buy. Um, I don't have any pressure here. These guys got to be careful. Oh, is she trying this? I can't fight her myself. Because I don't have alt up. I can maybe wait till she gets low. And then look to fight her. That's what I'm going to do. Alright, now I'm going to come over here. She's definitely trying to take this. Nice. Let's just E this. Hit her with the slow here. Auto her down. Nice. I need someone to come help me here. He's going to alt me here. Ah! There's not much I could do there. We needed our team to come rotate to this. They should be able to fight this. I don't know why she's going for her. They need to come back onto this. Jinx is playing this pretty bad. We should have this. This should be a kill. If Jinx, like, rotated with the team there, we definitely would have got that kill. But that's fine. I stopped the Drake. That's the biggest thing. It's pretty unlucky. If Jinx would have just rotated. If she would have, like, rotated and fought with the team, we would have won that fight pretty easily. Because she's strong, so... But this guy, I should be able to kill him here. 
She's gonna die here because this chick is coming right here. Yeah, she can't even auto her because she doesn't have vision. And then this guy might roam and kill her as well. But Arcane got his Ross form, so that's really good. Ooh, let me grab this cannon. Uh, what I meant is let me miss that cannon. Ooh, Jinx somehow made that out. That's really good. All right, we have the wave in a really good spot still. This wave is going to shove into us. I think we should try this. With Kane. If we can grab this early Drake, that would be really good. I have my ult, so if anyone comes, we can definitely take it. I'm just popping a pot here. I really don't want to tank this myself, though. All right, this is good. So grabbing this early Drake is really big. No, just stay on this, dude. You're the jungler. I'm not going to go down there and mess with that. I'd rather just come here. I'm just going to E this because I don't want to take a chance of him hitting me. Because I got chunked out from that Infernal Drag. All right, I am a little chunk, but I'm not super worried about it. He can't hit me through the wave here. I'm going to just ignite him here. And then look for a Q. Oh, he barely got me with that stun. If he didn't hit me with that stun, that was a free kill. If Kane comes and shows a little attention here, we could easily win this game. He's probably going to look for an alt onto me. Brother. This Kane's diamond too, too, so he should be looking here for me, honestly. I can't step up. I'll probably have to get some armor here. This is a free gank for this guy. I'm going to probably die here to the Vi, though. Yeah, this Kane, man. This Kane is kind of trolling me here. Not gonna lie. Good alt by the Kane, but I still think he loses this. Unless he hits the W. I'm just gonna type to him because this this lane is very, very free if he just walks into the lane. Alright, I'm just going to mute this guy. Obviously, he's uh, fangirling over the cane. The cane is 2 and 4. Like, cane is extremely strong right now. All he, Literally, all he has to do is just walk into the lane. I've set up a bunch of kills onto this pike. And this guy just keeps giving him uh, buffs as well. I can't get flat or stunned by that. If I get stunned by that, I'm dead. I should have just flashed onto him in hindsight. But it's all good. I'm just going to roam down here, honestly. Look for a play on her. Because without my ult, I can't just stay there. Mid. I'm going to take this vision out. And I'm going to come down here and try and take this. Looks like our top lane's getting absolutely decimated somehow. But we could still win this game. Our Jinx is 6-0, and so that's good. Um, Yeah, let's grab a little bit of armor here. I think that's going to help us a lot. I'm going to sell this and just grab two pieces of armor. So that way Pike can't do anything to us. This should be a kill. I mean, I don't know. He's got red buff, and this Kane... Like, his build is super sus. He's got a Tia map for some reason. I don't think they win this, actually. I really hope she doesn't try to come here and steal my wave. Alright, nice. I'm probably going to just go bot with my ult and look to make a play with uh, the Jinx. Because she's super fed. If I can keep getting her ahead... Or get her even further ahead. That would be really good for the team overall. Alright, I 
I just double E that. They have three people here, so I can't do anything too crazy. I do have my alt, though. Look for a fish on the center. Should be a free kill. Ooh, maybe not. I need him to eat me if uh, possible here. This should be... We, we should be able to uh, catch one of these guys here. I'm going for the... Uh, this guy if possible. I should have him here. Nice. Really, really good. We got everything there. Man, that Senna is tanky. I hate that build. It's a new build with Grasp. You run Grasp and you go like Frozen Mallet, um, Swifties. You get a bunch of extra health and stuff. And then she, yeah, she stacks the Grasp because she has so much range. And it's very hard to actually like secure a kill on her. You saw her. That was a max range fish and we still really didn't do that much damage. Given we don't have a lot of damage in our kit right now. Because we are going the uh, Proto, or not the Proto Belt, but the... Um, Zonya's second. All right, let's get a reset in. Should be able to pick up a lot of components. Should grab this and then our uh, penetration boots as well. Let's grab that. We'll grab tier two boots here. Another control ward and a sweeper. Don't. See I think Jinx is probably going to die here, mainly because the Mundo's so strong. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, I might be able to get this guy. This would be a big shutdown if we get him. Nice. Real, real good. I'm coming here. I have alt, but with all three of these guys here, we can't fight them. We need Camille. I don't know why she's not coming here. She's just chilling top lane. We're losing a lot here, though. If we had her here, we could be we could take this. We could definitely take this fight. We'll just see. We'll just wait it out. If this guy keeps pushing, we can look for a, a hit, a play on to him. But overall, the game's going pretty good still. Just this guy's getting really, really big, and this guy's pretty strong too. Stop his back there. Just pressure up on him. I'm looking for a Q on to him, but he wouldn't give it to me. All right, force his uh, little dash. I could look for a kill onto him here. And he knows it too. That's why he's um, that's why he's stepping back. I had a feeling Vi's here. This guy must be duo with Vi because like, Vi is permanently in this lane. All right, let's just push out this wave. And then I'm probably going to look top with my Ignite here. Actually, I'll just stay here with, uh, eh, let's come up here. Yeah, we'll come up here. I have my alt, too. With alt and ignite, we might be able to kill this guy. Have him take that out. I'm just going to walk up here and see if he's around this area. Ooh, I wasn't able to take that out. But I'll, I'll just throw my control ward down right here so I can take this vision out. Kane has Dark Harvest, has 10 stacks. He's actually stacking that pretty good. Let's see, let's see. We can make a play. We have our whole team here. We need everyone here, though. If he can get a slaw into this guy, I'm looking for a fish onto him. Now I'm going to ignite him, Q auto W him. Just pressure. We got to kill this guy as soon as possible. Nice. And then we can come back into this. I'm going to look for an E onto this if possible. Nice. Killing the Mundo there is very, very big because he's their strongest uh, member for sure. We should take this. Ah, so it's going down. That's fine. All right. So we take out the Mundo. That's good. He's got a freaking Warmogs and Sunfire already. That's insane. Ooh, Jinx going down there is really bad because she's so strong. I don't even think I can like fight that because if buys in the area they can just kill me with their cc 
We'll see how this goes. Jinx is really strong, but this guy's kind of going to full AD build, which doesn't make sense because we have so much damage already between her, me, and Jinx. We kind of needed him to go a little tankier, but it's whatever. Not a huge deal. All right, I think I'm just going to reset in here so I can have my Zhonyas for this dragon fight. I don't think they win this because this guy's going to come here. Their whole team's going to come here. That is not a good fight for us. Ooh, I need to wait like 15 seconds, actually. Let's watch this fight. I don't think it's going to go well. They have all their whole team up that on that side of the map. All right, let's grab our Zhonyas. Me and Jinx may be able to just come steal this or snag it. Yeah, they're dead here. Uh, they could maybe blast over and use that. We have this up in 17. I think me and Jinx can rush it. Eh, maybe not. Their whole team's coming for this. Actually, we can't. We can't. If she keeps running, we can... Uh, nah, their, their whole team's here. They have five people, so... This is this would be a bad fight to take. We really can't do anything because of uh, them dying over there. Taking that fight. Kind of sucks, because that would have set us up for Cloud Soul right there. If we won that. Or if we didn't die there. Our Camille's not doing too hot. This guy's kind of taking bad fights. These two are doing really well. Alright, Mundo's not here, so we could probably look for a little fight onto this guy. Look for a fish onto him. Should be able to kill him here. Nice. Got his flash, too. That's good. I'm going to try and take this blue because Kane's not really going to utilize it. And I'm super strong. I'm definitely going to have to get Amarellos this game because they have the Senna. They have uh, Pike who's going to be healing a bunch. And then obviously Mundo. I'm going to try and come make a play here if possible. Yeah, we can make a play here. gonna ignite this guy qw through him nice i wanted to scare that kill for sure with the team not sure where they're going i'm just gonna shove this wave out super hard mundo's bot lane pushing so what are we gonna do a baron here uh, i don't i don't think we should do this we need this guy here Nice, was able to get that. This guy could be dead here. Yeah, this dude, dude's toast. I'm going to fish him here. Nice. Now we can do this. We need all five, though. Actually, if we could kill this guy, that'd be big. I, I don't think we can do this, even with Senna down. It's going to be very sus. Especially, I could tell this guy's going to go for the, the pike or something. Yeah, we can't do this. Eh, we can maybe get this guy. I got to slow on him here. We have to just target this guy. Yeah, we got him. All right, let's just group up with the team here. Get the slow on it. Oh, I should have Zhonya his ult. That was really bad by me. But the team might win this still. Very close. Camille is probably going down here. Alright, if we had our Lich Bane there, maybe. Also, I definitely needed to hit my Zhonyas there. If I would have Zhonyas, I would have survived that pike and we would have been able to win that fight. So that one was definitely on me. No way they try Baron here. They don't really have a lot of damage. They're probably just de-warding. I mean, I'll go, but I don't think they're doing it. They don't, like, I don't think they have enough damage to do it. I think in these team fights from now on, I'm just going to have to, like, target this guy. Because he's super fed, and if we leave him alive to get resets... 
he's just going to pop off on the whole team. So instead of going for the Mundo, I'm just going to have to go for him. Ah, if it wasn't for her. This guy has no uh, little thing. We should get both of these guys here. We cannot fight this guy. Actually, we can fight this guy. I got him with the slow here. And I got him PTA'd as well. I'm just going to go for her. Scare her. I got her with the slow here. Igniter, W her. Nice. Now we just take this. That was so good. That was such a good play here. Killed four people right there. And we, uh... Yeah, who's the only one alive? Maokai, he can't stop this. That was a really, really good play. I'm glad I actually ended up going on that pike. He got cocky. All right, I'm gonna get a reset in after this too because I should have um, should have my Lich off of this as well. All right, so let's grab the Lich Bane here and we are spiked, boys. Hopefully these guys don't die because they're all coming up. I want to take this. When's this blue buff up in 50? Definitely going to want to grab that too. Um, let's shove out this mid lane so we have pressure in the lane. For this uh, dragon here, right? Just use our E here for the wave clear. And then I want to shove this out. Wait for my team to get here. And then we can pressure this. This should be pretty free here. And if she hops over, I'm just going to look for an alt over here onto her. Just throw my alt over there, because just in case if she, like, queues over the wall. We should just be able to pressure this in. I have alt in 30, so... Because we have the cloud, cloud drake for the ultimate. Actually, these guys are caught here. I'm just going to ignite this guy, QW through him tank up for them I'm pretty tanky so I'm just gonna look for a QW on to anyone really all right we should be good we just pressure in this mid lane here because Mundo looks like he's just splitting bot which is really bad for their team because we have Baron so we just pressure this in looks like he uh we just need to get this and then we can take this inhibitor and then go top lane, honestly. I'm going to come top. We have a huge wave already built up here. Um, I am not sure about this play, but it looks like the team's doing really well. In this situation, I always just like to do the, the safe play here, which is coming over here and pushing with this giant wave we have. And if the team wins the fight over there, that's fine. And if not, I have this giant wave pushing objectives. Nice. Looks like the team... Just smoked everyone, so that's good. We could just end. All right, another good score line up against a pretty tricky uh, Pike tune. This guy did really well. He just had a couple times where he got a little overconfident. So there it is, boys. Fizz mid versus Pike. We'll take you to the after action after this. All right, guys. This is the after action for the game we just played against that Pike mid. So starting from my top laner, my top laner was gold one. We had a diamond two in the jungle. I'm sitting at gold four. We had a platinum one ADC and a platinum one support. And overall, my team played really, really well. These guys, I think, had a little bit of a, a rough early game because they got double killed up there by the Mundo. And Mundo's kind of like a stat check champ. So if he gets like a little lead, it is very hard to actually like come back from that. But in this chick's defense, or this, uh, the, not the chick, obviously, this is Brian Nago. So he probably a guy, but he itemized really, really well into the Mundo. He bought this, I think, on his very first back, which was really, really good. That's a very smart buy into Mundo because he just heals so much, um, especially once he hits level 6. Um, the only thing that I wasn't a huge fan of with this game is um, whenever I asked this guy, this uh, this Kane right here, I said, hey, Kane, man, if you come mid, it's like super free because I had been battling with that Pike over and over, and every time – it seemed like he would just get away, get away with just a little bit of HP. And I would get his summoners, too. And uh, his jungler was constantly mid. Like, it seemed like almost every single time I would engage onto the pike, uh, Vi was in the wings waiting, or she was, like, already engaging onto me, almost, like, predicting me to engage onto the pike. And then the first time I said something to this guy, I was like, hey, man, if you come mid, you know I mean, it's super free. He has no summoners, and it's just a really easy gank. 
with uh with my setup if I land fish. And this dude tells me to fuck off. And then after I posted the link after the game, this guy was like, oh, no one's going to watch you. You're super toxic. So I guess asking the jungler to jungle is toxic, but telling people to fuck off in, in the chat really isn't. Um, but as for this this guy's play, I have no complaints. His play was perfect. He, I mean, he played Jinx like really, really well. Obviously, you can see 44k damage, more damage than almost a whole enemy team combined. Um, and this guy played super well too. This Tom Kent set up so many plays around the map. Um, and I really like the rune choice by this guy. Guardian feels like a really, really good rune. And we got uh, utilized it a couple times where we were, probably would have taken a lot of damage. But since we were with this guy, we really didn't. Um, as for the lane against Pike, a little bit of a tricky lane. You don't see it too often. It is very, very strong, like levels 1 and 2. Um, but we played pretty well against him despite that. Usually they'll go really aggressive level 1 and 2 because they can use their regen. So they'll just walk up to you, try and hit you with a point blank Q, like j the short tap Q, Q you, and then just hit you with 3 autos, chunk you down to like below half sometimes. And then even if they take minion aggro from the whole wave, they can just walk away out of the vision and then come back like full health. And he ran Doran's shield too. Um, we did have a couple times where we pushed our limits, tried to get him uh, with the Q auto W ignite early game, and he just used his passive really well. Nothing I could do about that. He just, yeah, he played the he played the matchup pretty well. There was a couple times where he got a little overconfident, a little overzealous, and we were able to bait out his E. If he doesn't have his E, his you mean his gap closer, and we hit him with a fish, there's really no way he can get away from us, right? Because the fish grants true vision. So if he just tries to use his W and go out of out of vision, that's not going to work for Fizz, right? Because we grant true vision of him. Then we just you know I mean use our E to dodge his E and then Q on top of him, get our uh, PTA proc and just kill him. Because Pike is a really squishy champ, you know I mean. Um, but yeah, everyone on my team played really really well, despite this guy you know I mean kind of BM in in the chat in the after game. Not really that. It doesn't really bother me that much. That's why as soon as he told me to fuck off, I just just mute him and then play off of his pings. Because he was the most fed person. Regardless, I mean, despite whatever he's like talking in all chat, that doesn't have anything to do with his performance in the game. Uh, I just play off of his pings and play off of the champion, right? I don't even mind that it's like Joss. I, don't, I just stop looking at this guy or considering him a person. He's just a champion at that point. So I'm playing off of the champion who happens to be our win con for sure. So starting from the enemy top, the Mundo was sitting at Diamond 2, and that makes a lot of sense because this guy at one point was taking over the game. He was split pushing really hard, becoming super hard to kill. But I think his problem was he built no, really no MR other than this item, which is only 40. But I guess you don't really need to as Mundo because Mundo has a bunch of uh, MR just packed into his kit. The enemy jungler was sitting at Gold 2. They had a Silver 2 pike, and this is surprising because this dude played the, the matchup really well, roamed really well. Um, got a triple kill on us at that one point where we were fighting like that big team fight in the enemy jungle. So shout out to this guy, Uwu Janna. And I think he's a support main too, which is even more surprising because he played, like I said, he played the matchup really well. I'm sure he's probably played Pike in general. You mean down in the support lane a couple times. So, you mean, he probably has a feel for Pike. Probably doesn't play mid lane much, but he did pretty well in my opinion. The enemy support was Platinum 4, and they had a Platinum 4 ADC. And this build is just so, so annoying right here. The, this is a new build. You'll pretty much see every Senna run in it. You see it on Pro Guides. As soon as Pro Guides are, like, skill-capped, comes out with a video, everyone hops on the bandwagon and starts building it. But this is actually a, a legit build. The Grasp build, because Senna has so much range and she scales so hard, she can really abuse the Grasp in lane. Then she goes the Frozen Mallet, which gives you, like, 700 HP. Additional slows, you mean, so you don't need the Glacial Augment. You're slowing them with your autos, which is like insane range. You're getting free AD from your scaling. Then you put throw a Phage on there. I'm not sure where she was going with this. Maybe Black Cleaver. Uh, that's another health. She had, she had like 1,000 extra HP, right? And then a Grasp, how many every time she proc that, that's giving her a free HP too. Um, you saw it firsthand. One, that I think that was like mid-game. We hit her with a, a full a max range Shark and... Barely did any damage to her. I was like, oh, she should be dead here. And then I went in on her, and I was like, whoa, maybe not. This chick is pretty tanky. But overall, the game felt really good. Um, the pike lane, definitely a skill matchup. You I mean, there, he definitely has opportunities to win. Once you get level 6, it's a little bit different because the true vision on your shark is, honestly, the game changer in there. But yeah, it was a pretty fun game overall. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you haven't yet subbed to the channel, it really does help, and we'd love to have you here. If you want to see anything in the future in specific, let me know in the comment section below. All right, hope to see you guys on the next video.